class is in session. This is Professor Ganymede. We have here another in-depth analysis game with Lucio, and we are on Nepal. We're going to do one round, so let's break it down. Speed. Just say Symmetra. No, it's, I hate Symmetra. Get an aggressive team three, that's great. Healing. One second on app. Oh, okay. They got Reaper, McCree, Zarya, Zenyatta, Roadhog. What? Yeah, so uh, when the games start, what I like to do is... Uh, I'm actually going to make this... Uh, my screen is sorry. What I like to do is verbalize the enemies on... I mean, the, the, the heroes on the enemy team. And why I like to do that is because I want to make a few notes. So I want to know whose ults... I mean, my, my threats... Um, whose ult I should pay attention to. So if I see like a McCree or a Reaper, I'll pay attention to those ults because uh, um, some of those ults I could actually counter with Lucio ult. And then of course I want to verbalize our team as well because I want to know whose ult I can combo Lucio's ult with. So I, I am actually able to prepare myself mentally for using my ult as a counter by met taking a mental note of the enemy team. And then there's other uses um, as well for just Making sure I know what's on enemy team. On point, three seconds. Happy heels. I'm backing up. They are dead. Uh, I'm going to taxi. Yeah, so I see our team kind of died there immediately. I backed out, you know, used the Lucio taxi tactic. So now I'm actually going to go get my team. Um, so that came, this came backwards. I very could have easily died there, but I didn't because uh, tactics. Uh, is, that, is that a pro Genji? No, dude. It's uh, the MLG Genji. I prefer that. You know. Yeah. Taxi. That's the most hard. We got Diva or uh, Reaper somewhere. Can't get up there. Sometimes. I got F. Heal ready. F. Heal. I got Max Star. So just the, I'll go over this every video, but I want to keep going over it. The reason I call out why I'm while I'm apping my heels and um, the cooldown of my heels is so I can let my team know when they can and cannot be aggressive. Because if they know my heels on cooldown, they may be less aggressive. If they know my heel is coming up, then they may want to go more aggressive because they know they're going to get a Lucio heel very soon. Reaper, Reaper behind, Reaper behind. Speeding. Happy him. There we go. So you notice, um, of course, I caught, I notice, I play back. I, I try to be the eyes of my team, which is why I rarely do damage, because I want to spend a lot of my time um, focusing on the enemy positions. And I call out, use my comms, call out the enemy location. My team turns around. And then you notice I actually switched to my speed buff there. And the reason I did that is because Reaper does so much damage up close that I want to y uh, allow my team to kite him back rather than try to heal through Reaper's damage, because I'm not going to be able to heal through Reaper's damage. I want my team to actually be able to kite out. Oh, two seconds. Happening. I had a little offensive ult there. Now that I'm watching it, I don't actually think that ult was necessary. Um, so, um, I mean, we still were able to smash them. I mean, that ult definitely secured the fight, but I didn't need the ult there. I could have saved this for when someone got low ult to counter a future ult. Um, so that's another area of opportunity I can take advantage of. I'm glad I watched this so I can learn from that. Reaper, Reaper. I am the best Genji. <laughs> Not sure if that. I'm a speed. I'm a speed. I'm gonna chase that reaper. Oh. <laughs> I've been here also. Uh, so I speed. I use my speed uh, buff so my Genji could chase down the reaper who was fleeing. When they reaper just go, this turns around us and uh, gets a shot at him. I mean, he even easy backs off. That's a little funny to me. But the point was, I used my speed buff to chase a person that I thought my team could kill. That's why I get. That's. That's why I use my speed buff for a lot of the time. 
Speeding, speeding. Genji in the not Genji, uh Zinyana on the right. Oh. Alright. Yeah. I have lied. I pray that the game is not gonna I have been killed by the bad hooker. Uh -huh. Rohawk lit. Up in heels. This is one of those ults where I'd hope I wish I'd saved my um my Lucio ult because McCree I love countering McCree ults. It's so satisfying, especially after the nerf that makes it so he can't just hold his um, ult back. I can actually I mean if he doesn't use his ult, I either buy time for my team to escape because he'll want to hold off on her, or I just completely counter it all together because I don't know how many of you know this, but McCree's ult isn't just an instant kill. What happens is every second he gains more damage on his ult. And I think it's like a, a hundred or 120 damage per second. So if I use my 500 health shield, my my ult can uh, definitely completely nullify McCree's high noon. Um, but I didn't have it here because I wasted it earlier. Ha! So I, <laughs> so I, I knocked him away, uh, which gave him poor light of sight. He still was able to kill someone, but he wasn't able to get a bunch of damage on my entire team. So that was uh, pretty nice. I might have been able to actually kill that guy had I been able to shoot him in the head um, and then knock him back, but, you know, hindsight is 20-20. Eight seconds on app. Two seconds on app. Behind me. Holy fuck, Zarya half. The pro Genji, right? Headshot. Pro Reaper right side. Ow. Oh, pro Genji. He's looking for that ult. Watch out for that Reaper. Pro Genji. Up in here. Oh, Pro Genji alert. Pro Genji alert. My bad. Just a quick note. Just notice how I position while I'm here. I'm always next to some kind of cover, and I'm always trying to, you know, corner peek back and forth in that cover. Even when I'm doing all my amping and my damage, I'm always right next to cover because I don't want to be caught out. I'm gonna block off that wall. I'm looking for a Reaper. Oh. Oops. Oh, I see. Oh, I get it. Sorry. Oh. All right, I don't know if you guys heard that. I was whispering to myself. So um, I looked at the enemy team. I have my ult. So now what I'm looking for is who's ult on the enemy team I can counter. I said Reaper ult, Zarya ult. I know that McCree just used his ult, so I probably won't have to counter that. But that's another ult that I want to look out for. So now that I have it in my mind that I'm going to be countering that, I will be able to react faster because I it's pre-planned. See? <laughs> you see, like I was prepared for that Reaper, which means like I had a faster reaction time because I knew beforehand I was gonna use my ult to counter it. Shit. 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 Four seconds so app. I have not killed anybody. Have Roha coming in Matrix. Well there we go. So that was a shorter video. Hopefully that helped you guys. Um, if you like, uh, try checking out my Twitch. I definitely stream. This is me streaming. I'm even looking to, you know, if you can, donate to my Patreon as well. So this has been Professor Gadamy. Thanks for watching. Class dismissed.